beautiful Sagittarians. Welcome back, everyone. Let's get straight to your messages, Sagittarius. I don't know why I'm giggling. It just came out. I have no clue. So this person is scheming. Okay. They are. Hmm. Someone is. Ooh. What's going on here? First card out. Ace of Cups. What's going on? Oh, what's going on here? So someone is trapped somebody in a family situation that they do not care about. Hello? They're pissed off that somebody's been manipulating Okay. Lies, lies, lies. Deception. So they could have caught this person in a lie. Other than you, Sagittarius. It's not your energy. This is current. They're pissed off. Someone used manipulation to trap this person. It's someone who they truly, you know, like, this is one-upping, this is being a right fighter, this is winning at someone else's loss but it was a trap I don't know if it's an ex of theirs Or someone's using a family situation, Sagittarius, to keep this person trapped there. They could be having a blowout here. I don't know. You're healing. You've had a blown out. This person could have been hiding. This is not your energy, Sag. I'm being told straight up. So they could be having a blowout with an ex of theirs. Or they could be having some kind of like their... They're, they're being, they're pissed off because they thought that this person was just. They thought that this person was fair. They thought that this person was honest. But they're finding out that they were emotionally manipulated into being in a family situation. Or finding out that they were manipulated to trap them in a family situation. I don't know, it's karma. I told you they're pissed off.
They are having a, an ex, ex, a blowout here. They're having a blowout here. There's a lot of anger and resentment here. It's like, I don't know what, they could be fighting with family. They got a lot of struggles here. They got a, they got a lot of burdens here. Somebody could have had an emotional breakdown. Somebody literally could have had an emotional breakdown. This person's pissed off. Your person is really, really angry that they're finding out that they were emotionally manipulated. It's that simple. You're over here healing. You're trusting your instincts. You're, you're staying quiet. You're minding your own business. It's not you getting involved over here. This is not your energy at all. You're over here healing, minding your own business. Loving on yourself or loving whatever you're doing. They're having a blowout. A major one. I'll say, look, mentally and emotionally broke down. This could be outrages, outbursts. This can be headaches. This can be nightmares. This can be PTSD, this can be ins uh, insomnia, anything. This could be a mental or an emotional breakdown. This person's pissed off. They're... You're over here minding your own damn business. Now, what's this going on here? Oh, they're in regret, and they're bitter, and they're angry. Something is really unstable here. It's very unhealthy, this relationship. And they've been trying to ignore something about whoever they're with. They've been trying to ignore it. But it's building and building and building in them. There's a lot of, like, emotional manipulation, like, with their family. Maybe this third party, however, this other lover is using their family, emotionally manipulating them, or they feel emotionally manipulated somehow by this karmic energy or this third party energy it's like they're very unstable or your person is unstable so, damn uh, this is not a good energy okay it's codependency it could be interference interfering with their family interfering with their connections I, I don't know looking into moving or something like this I don't know could be fighting about a child I don't know or about you because this person still has feelings for you oh my good god oh come off it 
these are people around you, Sagittarius, that love you. And I'm not, they're not romantic partners. Um, there's a couple of masculine energies that are around you that really, truly admire you and care for you and love you. And so this is definitely you doing your own thing over here. It could be romantic, but I don't think it is. There is just this, um, a couple of people that surround you that truly care for you, truly respect you, truly love you, that are surrounding your energy. And this person's energy is surrounded by the devil, surrounded by the nine of swords, surrounded by the ten of swords surrounded by a tower and oh my jesus the ten of wands and it's all centered at a libra or gemini libra aquarius a queen of swords so Someone could have had like a mental breakdown or a mental emotional breakdown here. And it could be your person. It could be the other party. And they could be going to this person's family. And they could be, you know, talking behind their back and saying what this person is doing defaming your name, defaming their name. This person's getting pissed off with it. It's just over the top. Like you're highly respected. Now this ex of theirs or this person that they're with has been going to this person's family and talking behind your back and talking behind their back and getting the ball rolling here, it's very, oh geez, it's really unstable energy. <clears throat> They're not finding it funny anymore. Oh my God, look at them go at it here. King of Wands is in the King of Sword energy. And this Queen of Swords is in the Devil energy. They met their match is what they did. They're not finding it amusing anymore. So... This karmic could be talking to their own family about this person or going to this person's family talking about them. Um, in it's slander, it's defamation of character, it's, um, oh my God. They could have been talking about you to this person's family or they could have been talking about this person to their family or talking about this person to this person's own family. Anyway, there's a bunch of rowing going on here. That the truth. <laughs> oh boy. This person feels foolish because they're finding out that something was planned. Somebody did this, planned this.
that could be a karmic child. Or talking about, oh my God, let's just sum it up. They got problems with family. They got problems with kids. They got problems where they're fighting and they're arguing and they're taking those arguments and those remarks and it's spreading to either the karmic's family or this person's family. They, you know what I'm getting to think? I'm getting to think that this karmic does not want your person having anybody around them. That's what I'm starting to think. Like, you know how people do that? They like, if they find, if they're, unless people are kissing their ass or something, they want to get rid of those people. They don't trust something. This person is still longing for you, Sagittarius. They could be depressed. Or when they're alone, they're thinking about you. Like when they're alone, they think about you. They're longing for you. Oh. Okay, well, I'm telling you, this is one self-serving feminine they're with all in it for themselves they could be in it for money hmm so it's almost like they're trying to cause dissension with or chaos for this person and their own family members. Like they're trying to drive a wedge between this person and their own family members or this person. I don't know. It's just like they want control of everything and everyone. Is like if they find that this person's family is a threat, they'll keep them away. They'll, they'll, make it they'll be so rude and arrogant that people don't want to be around them because this person thinks about you such Yeah, there's a lot. It's almost like driving people away from the emperor. So this, the, that's what they're saying. It's like, you're dr whoever this other energy is, they're putting a wedge between this emperor and their family members. This emperor and the people they usually would work with talk to this karmic ain't having it this karmic is causing a wedge between causing chaos causing a wedge so yeah they're having a change of heart here a change of opinion of this karmic 
Well, they're learning some lesson. I think they tried to like ignore these red flags. I think that they tried to ignore the behavior of this karmic for whatever reasons they have. Not wanting to deal with it. Not wanting to see it. But now it's becoming to the point where it's becoming um, embarrassing. How rude and how arrogant that this karmic energy is. Like, they're embarrassed. And this person is thinking about you. I told you, they're in de they were in denial. That's what that's who they were cheating with and you ended your relationship with them and now that's the relationship that they are in. So this karmic not only drove a wedge between you and this person, they're driving wedges between everyone that this person is with. In the form of being so rude and arrogant when their family comes around or people come around them that nobody wants to be around them. Yeah, friends, family, they're like... I don't know. They could be turning to friends and asking what to do. I, I don't know. This person, yeah, there's some hurtful stuff going on over here. That's all I know. Yeah, it's like they're, what the hell, it's like they're sitting here paying, paying this person to be at home, this paying for everything, as long as they're paying for everything, it's like, They're causing a wedge between everybody, like everyone, not just you and your relationship. Whoever this other person is, this could be the ex from hell, for all I know. This could be their ex from hell. I have no clue. But whoever they are with, it is becoming so embarrassing that nobody even wants to be around them because of the behavior of how this karmic reacts. It's like they chasing everyone away from them, chasing everyone that they care about out of their life. Not that you care, Sagittarius, but that's what came out in the read. Why you're in here is because, like, you have loving people around you. You are healing and you have loving energies around you and it's like you're a great friend you're a great partner you're a great lover you're and this is what they traded you for i'm like what the hell were you thinking Some sexual fantasy of theirs turning into a nightmare. That's what this is.
It is. It is. When this person's alone, when this person goes to bed at night, it is you they think of, Saj. Like... I think you got along with their family for the most part. You would get along with them. You're easygoing. Like you were friendly. You were social. But this, this is like a bad movie played out. Their family is like. <sighs> this is a bad character. <laughs> like possessive you know very possessive like controlling and possessive and it is keeping people away from them could be causing a break in their family connections because <coughs> they're coming off just so freaking rude and so arrogant that nobody wants to be around them. Well, I guess that's part of their karma. <laughs> Spirits like... He want a dose of bad. I'll give you a dose of bad. If you think Sagittarius was so bad, I'll show you what bad really is. That's the type of feeling that I'm getting. Like, there are wedges all over this. It's like they could be bickering and you know, arguing. If they have children or share children, they fight over that. They fight over everything. It's like... They could have had some like family get together or family outing and this thing comes off so arrogant and rude that it insults all their family. Like, you know what I'm saying? They're just a know-it-all and they're highly, they're doing it deliberately. So this person has no one in their life except for them. Yeah, like your person's social, right? Well, it's their own karma. <laughs> That's what Spirit's saying. They could have met their match. Take care.